Never not working, I'm feeling like Jules. Never not working, I'm feeling like Jules. Never not working, I'm feeling like Jules. It's your boy, Mars Three Times, back at it again. Live at Rolling Loud, this is 1AM Radio, Dash Radio, and today I'm sitting here next to Nico G4. What's good, brother? Yo, yo, what it do, what it do, it's Henny. Chilling, bro. Um, So, yo, I just, usually I, I like getting, like, the whole story from people, so, like, first I want to, first and foremost, I want to know, like, where you're from. Uh, I'm from Mid-City, West LA. That's, if you don't know where that's at, that's, like, off of Pico and La Brea by, like, the Roscoe's and Lucy's and all that. Okay, okay. And what was like what was your experience growing up in LA? Cuz cuz mind you, I'm from I'm from Florida. Uh-huh. I'm from Miami, like so I can't like I moved here like a year and a half ago, so I don't know what it's like. Like what's it like being born here and like growing up here? I mean, it's good. You know, it's good to see a lot of you know, certain things you wouldn't see in other cities here. Like it's a lot of politics, like hood politics, just you know, certain things in LA like it's structured a certain way to where you got to move a certain way, so you know, that's one of the things I always grew up with is just having an eye out for that type of stuff, you know? Yeah, and, like, I don't know I don't know how you, how it was for you, but, like, did you grow up, like, just, like, running into celebrities all the time? Because I, I know when I first got here a year and a half ago, I would just, like, see Andy Milanakis, like, <laughs> regular. Like, you know, like, he's, yeah, yeah. he's, like, a regular person. Is that, no, like, how it sh- is? For sure. No, I, f- I remember, like, you know, it's a whole lot of celebrity that, that like celebrities that come to like Roscoe's and places when I was growing up so I seen like Shaq when I was a kid like Kobe you know and like then stuff that's like just, that. just like I mean I'm sure at this point for you it's like when you see a celebrity it's like <laughs> nothing you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, it's, it's like it's just a regular person right right yeah I mean it's you know I went to Fairfax High School so I used to be celebrities oh, wow. always, you know? bro what was that like I see Fairfax High School and I'm like yo I yeah. can't imagine just going to fucking school right there on Fairfax that's yeah. crazy yeah I, I used to see like actors and shit like you know what I'm saying like and like you, you would just get out of school and just go straight to like Fairfax and just hang out right that's right. fucking cool yeah. as shit yeah that's I used to be like we used to ditch class like and go to all the stores over there and we used to see like actors and shit so yeah that shit was growing up over there it was cool and then so then how'd you how'd you end up getting into music um really it's just the homies was like we you know we used to just be bored after school and just one of the homies had like a studio in his closet and just fucking around and making music you know what i'm saying and we made a song that like kind of gravitated towards what we was doing in the city and then, like it picked up, and some artists heard it, and you know we just started opening up for people and shit like that. So yeah, Gro- growing up in LA, is it like is it hard to like escape the gang culture, or is that like something that's just like I don't know? Like, what was your experience with that? I and- mean, for for like if you're a cool nigga and you just got your own like mo and you do your own thing, like you know you ain't really gonna be worried about that, and they ain't gonna be worried about you. But if you like trying to be tough and trying to act like you that nigga in a certain way to where niggas notice you, then off top, you're going to run into problems, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. And um, off air, you were telling me you, you just you were just uh, you were just on a, went on a tour? Yeah. yeah where, where, just, where all did you go to? Uh, shit, we started the tour in Detroit and shit, you know what I'm saying? Then we went through all through the East Coast, like New York. Uh, we went to um, Toronto. We went all through the Midwest. We went to Chicago. We went to New Mexico, Houston, all type of shit. Where, Seattle. What, what, was, uh, what was your favorite place? Uh... I fuck with Washington D.C. like the D.M.V. area. You know that shit was lit. Um, I like Atlanta a lot too. So I was, you know, I'm from L.A. So I didn't really get to like hang out there too much. But yeah. when I did, it was cool. Like the little. What time. uh? What was the what was the craziest thing that happened on tour? Uh, that you could say thing. obviously <laughs> in front of a crowd of people. <laughs> I mean, the craziest thing would probably be like just you know having a lot of girls going up or like. Shit, watching a fight or something. Uh, you know, we've seen a few fights and just shit like that, you know? So. Word, word. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, uh, if, um, if somebody's never heard your music, what's, what's the first song they should listen to? The first song? That's a good question. Um, I would say go listen to, go listen to Recipe or Where the Crown on Roll the Dice 2 out right now on iTunes. Word, word, word. Um, are you excited for Rolling Loud? I, I, are you a performer or you're just here with Marco? I'm just here supporting the homies and shit. It's a lot shout of homies Marco. from LA, but you know what I'm saying? And shout out to my nigga Marco. You know what I'm saying? He about to go on stage at 135. Make sure, I, make sure y'all are there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm just supporting everybody. Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? Shout too. out to you, brother. Yeah. Um, Is there anything you want to say that I missed maybe that you uh-huh. want to talk about? Let's talk about it. Uh, Shit. My homie, uh, Monty Coolin, dropped his album, right? 
You know what I'm saying? For for me, what is it for you? For me only, here for me only. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, we dropped that free code record out there too. Um, Roll with the winners. You know all of that. Go check that out. Well, brother, thank you for coming by. You already know, buddy. Kim, Kim, Kim.